Minister and the First Lady, giving them a handshake and letting them take in the moment. And they look in not only good spirits, but in good health. Yes, I'm still here. Jeff Zeleny, you're there. We're watching these I pictures can, there. Yes. And as you say, uh, no family members there, but a lot of press. A lot of press and also uh, the cheering that you heard there uh, was from the airmen and women who are uh, stationed here at Joint Base Andrews. Uh, this is a moment. I can say you can, uh, you can feel the, uh, the, the uh, gravity and weight of this moment as we watch this uh, in, you know, incredible scene here. Uh, one of the gentlemen thrust his hands in the air as they descend these steps here to take their uh, steps on American soil, on U.S. soil. Of course, they landed in Alaska briefly, uh, but uh, now they're greeting the Vice President, Mrs. Pence, and Secretary uh, Pompeo. And again, the cheers you can hear here uh, from uh, you know, the men and women in the armed forces who are watching this happen here. Uh, there's not a crowd of other folks here. It is just uh, the people who are working at the base. But as we can see the handshakes here, uh, keep an eye on, on the President and First Lady. He is likely to come this way, and he may uh, make uh, remarks, and we'll see if he indeed answers our questions about this moment here. Uh, they certainly want to capture this moment uh, for history, and let's watch. Andrews, and the three American detainees, um, and the President of the United States and the First Lady of the United States. Um, now back home. Yeah. And Boris Sanchez, sorry, is um, at the White House. And um, Boris, I guess one of the issues with North Korea is that, you've, as far as Donald Trump is concerned, he sees North Korea as you know a real possibility for a, a, a moment of. Uh, I think we're about to hear from the President. So stand by. Boris. incredible people and the fact that we were able to get them out so soon was some really a tribute to a lot of things including a certain process that's taking place right now and that process is very important so we will see what happens we have a meeting scheduled in a very short period of time you'll be hearing about it soon we have the location set and we will see if we can do something that people did not think was going to happen for many, many years, and a lot of bad things could have happened in between. So uh, I, I just want to say this is a special night for these three really great people, and congratulations on being in this country. Thank you. How does it feel to be home? It's like a dream, and we are very, very happy. How were you treated? You have to give me the answer. What did you do about us, sir? Uh, there are many things that we have Yes, uh, we were treated in many different ways. Uh, for me, I had to do a lot of labor, but when I got sick, I was also treated by them. My proudest achievement will be, this is a part of it, but will be when we denuclearize that entire peninsula. This is what people have been waiting for for a long time. Nobody thought we could be on this track in terms of speed. So I'm very honored to have helped the three folks. They're great people. You know, I got, I got to speak to them on the plane. These are great people. They've been through a lot, but it's, uh, it's a great honor. But the great, the, the true honor is going to be if we have a victory in getting rid of nuclear weapons. No, not at all. Uh, we 
very much appreciate that he allowed them to go before the meeting. It was sort of understood that we'd uh, be able to get these three terrific people during the meeting and bring them home after the meeting. And he was nice in letting them go before the meeting. I mean, frankly, we didn't think this was going to happen, and it did. So you, you could say we're a little bit of a, It was a very important thing to all of us to be able to get these three great people out. And I, I must tell you, I want to pay my warmest respects to the parents of Otto Warmbier, who is a great young man who, who really suffered. And his parents have become friends of ours. They are spectacular people. And I just want to pay my respects. I actually called them the other day, and Mike called them also, Mike Pence. And uh, they are really incredible people. I, I think our Secretary of State, despite the fact that the New York Times said he was missing, he was in North Korea, but I think our Secretary of State has done a fantastic job. Uh, Mike, did you know that you were missing? They couldn't find you. They couldn't find him. They, they couldn't find him because he was in North Korea. You know, it's what, I don't want to comment on whether or not I spoke to him. Well, we're starting off on a new footing. This is a wonderful thing that he released the folks early. That was a big thing, very important to me. And I really think we have a very good chance of doing something very meaningful. And if anybody would have said that five years ago, ten years ago, even a year ago, you would have said that's not possible. So a lot, I will say this, a lot of very good things have happened. Say it. I really think he wants to do something. I think he did this because I really think he wants to do something and bring that country into the real world. I really believe that, John, and I think I think that we're going to have a success. I think this will be a very big success. It's never been taken this far. There's never been a relationship like this, and we're starting from here. But uh, I really think a lot of progress has been made, and we'll see what happens. We're talking about a few weeks. I guess many of you will be with us, but some great things can happen, and that's what we hope. So I want to thank you all. It's very early in the morning. Uh, I think you probably broke the all-time in history television rating for 3 o'clock in the morning, that I would say. But I want to just congratulate. These are three great people, and congratulations.